And now, what you've all been waiting for, it's Coinop TV Live, starring Robert Welkner and the lovely Haley Bright. And now, keep it up for your host, Robert Welkner. <laughs> Welcome to CoinOp TV Live on the stream.tv. We are a show about the video game industry, people, and events. Big show tonight. We were off last week. We're, we're back. It's Thursday, February 25th, episode 330. We got a big show tonight. We got uh, Jessica Chavez from XSEED is going to talk Lunar Silver Star Harmony in the house. Uh, Haley and I went to the Battlefield Bad Company 2 uh, red carpet events. We got some interviews from that. Also, our friends over at uh, Dragonica Online uh, told me about a little special CoinOp TV offer giveaway thing that uh, I'm going to share with you guys a little on t a little later on tonight. So that should be fun. So uh, it's going to be a good time. We're live. We're, inter we're interactive. If you want to hit us up, we're in some of the chat rooms. But if you have a question, concern, something you want to suggest as we go along, yeah, the best way to get that to us is by instant messenger with the stream it's the stream.tv all spelled out no punctuation no spaces no nothing uh so with that i want to introduce my team and get the show started you guys uh you guys have been sticking around for a couple of years you know you love her i love her she's great she's my lovely co-host miss Haley bright hey Rob, what's up? so that's the only reason you do coin up no i'm just kidding it's the only reason why I come here on Thursday nights. I'd, I'd still do CoinOp TV, but CoinOp TV Live revolves around your participation. Oh. Well, in that case, you can sit in my seat and I'll take... No, I'm just kidding. So how are things going? What have you been up to? Oh, it's going well. I've been craving French fries all day. Oh, dude. Rob, did you give up French fries for sure? I didn't know if you were serious or just kidding. No, no, I'm support for those. I know I'm supporting Haley's uh, decision to give up French fries for Lent, and I'm 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 not having any. But I've gone to like In and Out in a few places, so. Uh, Dude, I daydreamed today that I went to McDonald's and ate French fries. I was like so happy, and then I was like, wait a second, <laughs> another month and a half of this. I'll be your sponsor. Very sad. So if you if you get a craving. Let me know. I'll sponsor All right. You. Well, um, maybe the week after Easter, if you want to go eat French fries, that would be rad. Oh, yeah. We're going to go nuts that Sweet. week. Sweet. <laughs> uh, let me introduce Brian, and then we'll say hi to some of our uh, live viewers. Um, guys, we don't need to introduce Brian. You know, he doesn't. No. Well, he, I agree. He doesn't deserve. <laughs> he doesn't need an introduction because he's already so famous and so cool. But we'll, he's we'll, so popular already. We'll, we'll, we'll give him one anyway. Um, you guys who watch the stream.tv uh, during the week or in the off-peak time, um, you know him, you love him. It's Brian Grammo. Why are you being mean to me, Haley? Why, why don't you like me anymore? <laughs> Haley, be Aww. nice. Be nice to Brian. Haley. Brian looks so cute like that. I'm not why, hitting on you, but you look are, cute. Why, why don't you like me anymore? Aww. Okay, now I feel bad. I haven't heard this Brian, voice. Brian, we love you. We I haven't heard this kidding. voice before, Haley. It's like a new character of Brian's. It's cute. It's like a puppy or something. It's, it's my emotionally vulnerable voice. <laughs> it's your what? It's my emotionally vulnerable voice of her, my feelings. Do you use that with Jessica when you're at home? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Haley, let's touch base and give some shout outs to some of the viewers at home. Uh, I, know, I know we have some regulars, we got some new faces. What's going on on your side there? All right, well, I want to give a shout out to Church4252. It's been a long time since we've seen you in person. Uh, the Low Strikes Back, Aaron Knight's uh, Broken Sausage, Real Men Wear Kilts, um, Psycho Gamer, and Alex194. Dude, I need some chicks in this chat room for sure. <laughs> Haley, if it makes you feel any better, we got Jessica, who is female, as our studio guest. So that'll help. It does make me feel better. Yay! <laughs> I told I told her I said no no talk of makeup or hair we're gonna talk video games tonight, right Haley? No no. Um exactly. No girly talk. We're gonna strictly get into video game discussion. Where are you going? Don't lean out of frame on me. Get back up there, Haley. I was gonna give you a makeup session. Oh, this okay. is like the best mascara ever, Rob. <laughs> Nars. It lengthens your lashes. You should try it sometime. I did. I kind of went with a clean shaven thing tonight. I haven't. Uh, I haven't chopped off the facial hair for a while, so it's it's. Oh my God! You know what that means? You have a date. Uh, Guys shave when they have dates. Really? Who are you going out with? 
Uh, nobody tonight. I'm. I'm. Oh. It, it, Brian oh, agrees with that. Whoa. <laughs> Brian, I thought, we're, I thought we were going to keep wrong? that on the DL, Brian, uh, that date of ours. I haven't, I haven't talked to Welkner. I haven't I haven't done anything to that effect. All I know is it's true. If a guy shaves that doesn't normally shave, chances are he's going on a date. Wow. My, my date's happening on April Fool's, most likely. Oh. That's sad, Rob. That's a month from now. That is not why you shaved. No, no. Anyway, I... um, so we got accepted to the International Academy of Web Television. Yes, yeah, so I have on my notes the first item of business. Yes. Is that uh, Haley Bride, Robert Welkner are new members for the International Academy of Web Television. What does that mean, Haley? Um, it means that you're cool. It means we're no, cool. I'm just kidding. It means we. It means. <laughs> Okay, okay. You sure some of my mascara didn't get in your eyes when you were rushing to, you know, get set up here? <laughs> no. <laughs> when you're accepted to the AAWTW or whatever the initials are, that means you're on the board to actually uh, participate in the voting for the nominations of the Streamy Awards. But this is you've gotten this after the deadline, correct? So you wouldn't be voting for this year's Streamies, correct, Rob? Uh, we're we're uh, we're helping shape the uh, internet web TV space. So, will you be participating in the voting for this year's streamies? Are you? Did you meet the deadline? There's 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 some uh, a chance we may have some interactivity with that. Yes. Um, okay. <laughs> but speaking of that. Why don't we tell them who's going to be on our show next week? So, so first up, since we're new members, we thought, you know, hey, listen, now that we're members, we owe everybody a favor. Come to us, ask us for favors if you need something. So, Haley, who's going to be on the show next week? Um, Brady Brim DeForest. He um, was one of the founders of Tube Filter and the Streamies. So that should be really exciting. Hopefully, you can give us some inside tips on what we should expect this year from the Streamy Awards. Yeah, I do. I do believe that the announcement is coming up soon. So uh, next week we'll uh, we'll have Brady on and we can uh, badger him and quiz him about sort of the makings of uh, what's going on and what to expect with the streamies and uh, the behind the scenes of Tube Filter. And he's also, um, you know, one of the founders of the Internet International Academy of Web TV. Also, so. Yeah, but you guys should be excited about because a lot of the shows um, from the stream hopefully will be nominated for Streamy Awards. So it should be a very interesting show. Yeah, it should be fun. And then also next week we're going to have um, the USA, one of the top USA Street Fighter IV uh, championship level players, Justin Wong, to uh, gear, help us gear up for LA Rides 3, which is going to be happening on Saturday, March 6th. So we're going to have two guests, Haley. Rob, what time does that start on Saturday? I think we're going to shoot for like 2 o'clock. Awesome. And is it going to be on the stream.tv again? Yeah, we're going to stream it out of the studio. Uh, Alex Valle is going to defend his title from last uh, last Street Fighter, uh, the LA Riots 2. And, uh, and the, the new thing is that uh, Justin has sort of just moved to California, Haley. So this is the first time he's eligible to sort of participate. He qualified. Yeah, that's exciting. Who do you think is going to win? Do you think that they, he has a chance against Alex? Uh, Ju well, Justin's a, the one of the top players. I know, players. he's the top, yeah. but Alex did pretty good last time. Yes. I don't know. What do people say in the chat room? Are you guys are thinking Justin or Alex? Well, while she's getting chat room comments, I just want to say that it just seemed that Alex wasn't even trying, and it even seemed like to the second to last round he like let uh, I, forget, I forget the other guy win, so it was more I interesting. Like I think that's how good he is. So I'm, I'm interested to see him versus Wong. Well, Alex is definitely one of the top SoCal players. So it's sort of like now uh, now we're mixing the ingredient up. We're, we're every every time we go, Brian, we we sort of add like a new element to the LA riots, and that's what makes it one of the more uh, you know the more hip and cool uh, tournaments, it's right? It's like Haley? me cooking ramen. There's always something extra I put in. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Haley, any, any opinions from your side of the world over there? That's exactly what I was thinking right when we were talking about this. Um, you know, it's kind of a split. A lot of people are like, I think Alex is going to win. And then a bunch of people think that, uh, oh, Psycho Gamer. I say Alex is going to take it in the fifth round. And then a bunch of people think that um, like you know they're they're big fans of uh, Justin, so they think that he'll win. So I think it's a 50-50 split. So that'll be fun to watch it. Yeah, that'll be cool. So if you guys want to see what the standings are, who's competing, uh, the eight players go to gutex.com for the scoop, and coinop.tv also will have the uh, the scoop. So uh, cool. Uh, a couple things, a couple games that came out or coming out. I want to talk about. And then we're going to show our battlefields. 
um, coverage. Very excited about that with you, Haley, and uh, talk about some contests and bring our guests out. Um, so Haley and I did in November, we, uh, October, November, we went up to San Francisco, did some interviews with Hudson Entertainment. So they, they've been sending me some of the demos. Unfortunately, I haven't had a whole lot of time, but I got a, the calling demo and the rooms demo for the Wii. So uh, these just came in the mail the last couple of weeks. So Haley, soon uh, when you get back in town, uh, you have to come over so we can play, uh, play some of these guys and um, check them out firsthand. Yeah, the calling looked awesome. We did that interview up there at, um, in where were we? In San Francisco. Um, that game looks really fun and kind of spooky too. Yeah, kind of a kind of a horror a game on the Wii. A what? Horror. A I know what? it's Rob's New York accent coming out. It comes, it comes and goes. You and Jeff Schuber can't can't get the R out there when you say horror. <laughs> <laughs> horror. <laughs> That does just sound like horror. I don't know. I can't say it either. The hor oh, the horror. <laughs> <laughs> the horror. What'd you say? Oh, the horror. Uh, anyway, that game looks fun. But don't. I don't know if I want to play it with you. You might like go all girly on me and scream and try to grab my hand or something. Like Andre, you know, with his like uh, your, the video you guys did where he was yeah. like s squealing like a girl. And crying. Yeah, yeah. crying. <laughs> that was funny. Um, another game that comes out next week is uh, 2K's. Major League Sports Baseball 2K10. Yeah. Now, now, Haley, there's something special going on with this game I want to tell you about, but I want to ask you how much you know about baseball. Can you tell me what a perfect game is? Perfect game? Yeah, in baseball. What is a perfect game, Haley Bright? Um, I'm waiting for... Suggestions from the chat room. <laughs> little, te little teasing me on some of the things earlier tonight, uh, no Haley. No points, no hits, no walks. All right. Um, pitch everyone out. All right. Um, no walks, hits, or base runners. Am I right? <laughs> All right. So if you if you have a perfect game, that means uh, nobody makes it to first base. Uh, everybody, oh, all twenty-seven right. players get out. <laughs> either by a pop fly catch, a strikeout. So when was the last time that actually happened? That's only happened about 18 times um, in, in history over the 100 years of baseball history. But the reason why I'm bringing this up, Haley, it, it ties into this game. Um, our friends over at 2K10, the, the, they're doing a contest. That's the big thing. This game's coming out next week. And the first person that can pitch a perfect game in the game and prove it gets a million dollars. Can you believe wait, that? Wait, are you joking with I'm me? I'm being serious. That's like really? their big contest going on. So wait, you gotta make sure you film it, right? Cause like it all has to be on tape, I'm assuming. I think I think there'll be like an achievement or something. There'll be a way to prove it, but maybe you have to film it. I'm not sure, I didn't really get the, uh, the release. I didn't bring the release with me for that, but. No, uh, you're right. There's probably is an achievement or something like that. So wait. First person to do it once it comes out wins a million dollars. That's that's what uh, 2K's uh, thrown How out there. How hard do you think it is? Oh man, I, oh, I was playing it before the show today. I couldn't even get one guy out. I was having a hard time. <laughs> I can do I can do Maybe headshots. Maybe you and I need to get together and play this game over and over and over. We could we could quit we could quit our jobs. We we could Not we could really. quit. Yeah. That wouldn't even buy us a house in California. It would it would be we could get a condo and and you know <laughs> do that and have like our our den with like the Xbox the Wii the PlayStation. But so it's official. You guys are moving in together. Basically, that's what I can announce to everyone. No, no, we're not. See, Brian, you shave a little, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we got a face palm from Haley. It's huge. So here's here's the gag though, Haley. Um, so on the on the Xbox, they already have like the demo, or it's coming out like tomorrow or something. But on the PlayStation Three, the demo isn't going to be available till after the game comes out next week. So if you're an uh. Xbox person, you can like practice. You know, you can get the demo and practice. Uh, although I have the whole game right now, I could go home. We can go home tonight and try and pitch a perfect game. You think this is possible? It's got to be possible. I'll tell you what. I'll let Jared bar it, and he's gonna he's gonna knock him down. Jared, yeah. Jared, if you were going to get in the game, who would you? What team would you pick? Yanks. The Yankees. All right. Oh, we got some groans. The Yankees. Whoa. Yay! All right, Haley, let's move oh, on from baseball hey, talk. Hey, guess who's in what our you, chat room? What do you got? Black nerd comedy. He said, "Rob and Haley as roommates. That's a sitcom waiting to happen." <laughs> we would be really funny roommates. Bosom buddies, 2010. 
Ew, it sounds like a porn movie. So since uh, Andre... Uh... Wait, 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 wait. Bosom Buddies, Tom Hanks, it's like the most innocent sitcom ever. Hmm. Yeah. It's it's a great thing. You should check it out on the, some late night TV thing. Haley, what I year can... is that from? Haley, uh, can... Like 62 or something. Uh, that's before my time. I can catch a uh, baseball behind my back if that... You know, if well, anybody cool. who knows the show will know the reference. Hey, show Andre your t shirt because yeah, I don't know if he was show. watching the pre show. Andre! Look at that. It's on. I wore this shirt to declare war on you for, <laughs> <laughs> for, <laughs> to play um, Qbert at the SC3 arcade um, thing. Yeah, event. So I was thinking you could have a team and I could have a team and we could see whose team wins. But let me know. The, the Qbert, yeah, Q-Bert like off. the Qbert Championships or something. Maybe we could tape it and air it on. Is there going to be a million dollars at stake for that as well, Haley? That would mean that either you or I would have to come up with that, Rob. We should get a sponsor, <laughs> a big sponsor. All right, Haley. I'm glad. Right. I'm glad we've checked in with all the madness. <laughs> Let's get to some business. Let's talk, let's hear from the celebrities. You and I went to the Battlefield Bad Company 2 red carpet. They did a charity event. Celebrities came out and competed, played head-to-head -head for their favorite charities. Uh, Brian, let's take a look at that video, and we'll talk about it some more afterwards. And this is Haley Bright from CoinOp TV in Los Angeles at the Battlefield Bad Company 2 Celebrity Bracket Challenge. There's a lot of celebs coming out tonight to support their favorite charities, and we're going to catch up with them on the red carpet. Modern Warfare, big franchise. What are some things that Battlefield is going to bring to the table? I think three things that will make Battlefield Bad Company 2 a very interesting game in the competition will be, of course, destruction, and of course, the vehicles, and then we have the dedicated servers. What are you most looking forward to at the event tonight? Um, you know what? This, well, first of all, the game looks pretty amazing. I actually got to play it for a little bit. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, uh, I've never I've Trash never done a, a, a. Um, I've already. You don't even know. You don't even know. It's begun. It's on. That's Tristan. He's my co-star, and he's he's a, another team here, and he's going down big time. All right. So a second ago, Matt was uh, talking some smack over here. So what would you say to his team back? Uh, Matt. You know, it, it's it's nice that you uh, pleasantly think that your team even has the capacity to win against mine, but uh, you're going down tonight. Did you play Battlefield 1 at all? I had not played Battlefield 1, but uh, I'm very competitive and I'm here to win. <laughs> I, t I pick up things very quickly. Do you play a lot of video games yourself? I play video games when I'm at a friend's house and playing. I normally, I don't watch TV, I don't play games. I don't read books, I don't read magazines, I barely go to the movies. All I do is work. I'm really lame. It's it's amazing. Really, really amazing. It's very, very realistic and scary in the fact that, you know, we've got troops over there fighting right now. You can't forget that. And when you're, you know, you think about it, I'm scared to play the game. And these guys are the real heroes. You know, the, the men and women who are fighting for our country. This is this is something you can play and you go, oh, I died. No, you know, there's some real stuff going on. So I'm reminded of that when I play this game. So that wraps it up for the Battlefield Bad Company 2 Celebrity Bracket Challenge. My name's Haley Bright from CoinUp TV. We'll see you guys next time. Haley, so Battlefield uh, Bad Company 2, kind of the uh, successor or the competition now for Modern Warfare. What would you think of the event? Yeah, good, good times there. You look lovely on the carpet. It was an awesome event and really fun. And actually, it was raising uh, money for really good charities. And every celebrity there had their own charity they were raising money for. So if their team won, the money went to um, a multitude of different charities, which I thought was really awesome. What a great idea, right? Yeah, yeah, that was that's a good reason to come out for, for the event. Yeah. I'm and it was cool. <laughs> I, I think it's a good game. But it was funny, you know, how many celebrities are like, uh... I don't really play much video games, but I'm competitive. And I was like, well, that's all you need to get started, I guess. And the, the funny thing, so we went there to get Olivia Munn on camera because she's, you know, not agreed to be on any stream show at all. And she uh, snubbed the event. She was the host and she, like, didn't show at all. So we didn't get Olivia. She was nowhere to be found. All my main questions were for her, too. I was like, aw. But I yeah. guess that makes sense. If you're hosting an event, you probably won't be on the carpet. But no, she didn't even show up at PR all. No, she wait, wasn't wait even a there second. At all. You're she, kidding. No, she like tweeted. Isn't she hosting the yeah, event? Yeah, she was, she like was a no show. I'm not going to come to Coin Op next week. 
<laughs> Haley, I'm just kidding. I That's never... kind of random. How can you not show up to your own event? Yeah, yeah. It's it's tricky, but that's what we did. Inst anyway, instead of having a coin up last week, you should have taken over, did. Rob. You should have hosted the event. I know, I know. They had to they had to kind of wing it, but um, people wouldn't have even noticed the difference. <laughs> we can throw you in a bikini, Rob. Listen, I can I can be funny, you know. I can be silly can like bikini. Olivia. Yeah. I can be witty, charming. I and can be in Maxim in and Playboy, right? Wait, wait. What did you just say? You were in Playboy. Yeah. I said. <laughs> I said I could be. Uh, these are things that could happen. Hey, you might get an offer after today's show. You never know. Rob, I, I, I think you've forgotten more things about video games than she knows, though. So it's like, <laughs> like what were you going to ask her anyway? Yeah, well, we actually, I just wanted to get a specific quote from her that begins with the letter F and ends with something else. But, but since that didn't happen, I want to remind everybody that we always put the extended cut of our interviews on the regular site, coinop.tv. So there's like the five-minute cut with the house sparks and uh, a little more from some of the celebrities. So check that out. It's www.coinop.tv. Battlefield comes out uh, next week. PS3, Xbox 360, PC. Very excited. Can't wait to play it, Haley. Anything on your world before we move on? Um, I was looking through the chat rooms. No, I guess not. Any smack talking from Andre while he's in there? Uh, yeah, he was, but I'd have to go back and find it. <laughs> it's okay. My team's going to do better. He showed up oh. when he heard you were talking smack about him. I know what I was going to say. People in the chat room were like, Team Andre, Team Haley. And I was like, oh, this could really actually be a great event. So I think I'm actually going to start this. So, Andre, you make a team, I'll make a team, and then we'll battle it out at the SC3 arcade party. And we'll have someone film it too. All right, I'm looking yeah. forward to it. And just as a heads Rob, up. Rob, do you wanna be on my team? Are I, you any good at Qbert? I, I can I can play, I can hold my own in Qbert. I can get up to the invisible level. Okay, you can be on my team. <laughs> <laughs> we need one more person. I think that each team should have three players. So you and I should decide a third person. All right. Um, just And just as a heads up, uh, the SC3 party was gonna be in April, but I believe it's gonna be May 2nd, Saturday, May 2nd, or the 1st, whatever that Saturday is. So Yay. mark your calendars for that. All right, Haley, I got I got a little offer, a little goody thing to share with our fans, and then I'm going to bring out Jessica from XC to talk Lunar, Silver, Star Harmony. Uh, so a couple weeks ago on the show, we had um, a guest from Dragonica online. He wore this awesome T-shirt. Uh, we were talking about the shirt. Brian stole mine live off the air. I don't have it anymore. But um, Brian, let me see a picture. Here's the, here's the T-shirt. So I, I, I emailed the PR gal and I said, look, everybody wants this t-shirt. How can my fans of Coin.tv get their hands on the shirt? It's real cool, it's spiffy, it's from their game, which is a free-to-play game online. And she said, you know, Rob, we've got an offer coming up, a special challenge offer going out with a press release that, uh, that I want you to tell people about. So they're doing a, uh, they're calling it the Dragonic Online Side Scroller Challenge going till March 9th. And uh, what they're doing is they're doing sort of a thing where you demo the game and if you like it and, and go through the demo or the challenge that's on there that um, they'll give you some credit in the game and if you say that you don't like it and you want to go and play another one of their competing games it's like the coke versus pepsi thing Haley they'll give you like money for their other games that you decide that you want to play or something they're they're like intent that you're gonna stick around for that does that make all sense so far what I'm saying Haley following along yeah all right, so uh, <laughs> it's a yeah. I don't know like the very specifics, but go to the website. It's um, uh, go dot thqice dot com slash sss. And um, here's the thing for Coin App TV people: um, the, the special thing is the first five people go through the challenge are eligible to get one of those shirts sent to them. They're not giving that to like regular people. So uh, what I'm going to do when I go home tonight on uh, coinop.tv's website, I'm going to put like my email, all the information on how to kind of get to go through the challenge. Email me like a screenshot proving that you uh, you made it through, and then I'm and what size shirt you are, and I'm going to send that to the PR people, and the first five people will get a T-shirt. So that's Haley. That's how I'm going to show the love. So nobody else can get the shirts but our five viewers, That's the first five. That's awesome. That's a great deal. I would do that if I was a viewer. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good one. So thanks, uh, Draconic Online. You guys are uh, helping us out there. That's yeah, right. those trust, shirts are awesome, trust me, too. I listen, I listen I'm hoarding mine at my house. I listen to Collective, and they, that's all I talked about was the shirt. So, you know, that's why I'm bringing it up. 
Yeah, it was. It's a very very cool shirt. All right, Rob, let's bring on our guest. All right, guys. Uh, so Lunar is like a game with some history to it. It's fun. It's exciting. I'm going to show the trailer, and then I'm going to bring out Jessica from the team. So Brian, let's look at the Lunar Silver Star Harmony teaser. <laughs> So, uh, Haley, what do you think of that? That was the trailer for Lunar, Silver Star Harmony. You getting excited? You pumped? Yeah, that game's awesome. Cool graphics, too. So we have uh, Jessica Chavez. She's the localization lead from XSEED working on Lunar, Silver Star Harmony. Guys, are you ready? Let's put our hands together and welcome Jessica out. <laughs> Jessica, welcome to the show. Very happy to have you. I got I got the premium edition here. I'll, I'll I'll stand up. It's very it's very spiffy. Good to see you. Bring that mic up. Let me let me know how you're doing. Are you enjoying the show so far? I'm enjoying myself immensely. There's a lot of cheering and catcalling in the crowd. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. <laughs> you should see the chat room. It's probably gone nuts as well. But uh, we're very to have, happy to have you on the show. Lunar has got sort of a history, our franchise. Can you give me a little idea where the title kind of comes from or a little of the story? Well, uh, Lunar Silver Star Harmony is a remake of a remake, but that's a good thing. This <laughs> game is so awesome that they've had to keep remaking it for a new generation of fans. But uh, originally it was on the Sega CD as Lunar Silver Star Story, and then it came to the PlayStation. There were some iterations on the Game Boy, and now it's on the PSP. All right, now fantastic. Now, uh, now it's the first time on the Sony handheld PSP. Um, tell me a little bit about that. Do we uh, do we have awesome graphics? What what kind of advantage advantages do you get from that? Well, if along with the remake, there are so many upgrades. I mean, the graphics have been completely overhauled. Like you could see a bit from the trailer walking through the towns. It's gorgeous now. Uh, the soundtrack has been completely redone. There's a whole new scenario, and there are new battle elements. All right, very good. Uh, I want to talk about the battle and the playing, but I want to remind everybody at home if you want to get a question for Jessica about Lunar, the new <laughs> be game. Be gentle. Be, gen be gentle, she says. It's uh, our instant messenger is the stream and .tv, all spelled out. Haley will get to some of those and uh, be patient with us. Um, so speaking of sort of the battlefield, the play field, I understand it's called the arts gauge system. How does that work? And we have some yeah. pictures we can sort of roll as we're, as we're talking about that as well. It's a new element. I mean, it was there in the Game Boy version, but they've added it into Silver Star Harmony. It's kind of like a limit break. When you take damage or you deal out damage to enemies, you build up this gauge. And when it gets full enough, you can unleash these devastating attacks or healing spells. And it's really useful when you get into boss fights. It'll get you out of a pinch big time. All right, very good. Now, it's, it's sort of like a, an RPG game. The, the lead character is Alex, right? Yeah. What, what is his sort of goal or what, what can, give me an idea of the story a little more. Well, he, he starts out as kind of, you know, the, the young boy in a village in the middle of nowhere and he kind of dreams of following in the steps of his hero who was a dragon master. Now this dragon master disappeared 15 years prior so there's been nobody else to kind of claim the title. And his dream is to adventure and eventually become the dragon master. All right, very awesome, very cool. It sounds cool and fun. Haley, um, let's check in with, with you over there. Do you have some questions for uh, Jessica? Uh, yes, I have questions and comments. All right, shoot. Uh, Fatty Bombatty <laughs> says, awesome wow, name. how come I never find gamer hot, hottie gamer ladies like this? <laughs> I was like, should come to coin up. Um, There's one right here. We yes. have one right here. But uh, let's see. So Aaron Knights wants to know, how concerned um, are you about piracy on the PSP? Is this, is this a concern? 
it's always a concern. The PSP has some problems with that, but I mean, we've. This is why we're offering the limited edition. This is for true fans who want to get out there, support the series, and kind of help combat piracy, I guess. All right, you mentioned Haley. She mentioned the. Uh, so I've got the special edition here. Let me uh, let me Ooh. open this up. Very fancy. Comes with the uh, the game and a uh, soundtrack, as I understand it, mm-hmm. and then very nice uh, shiny soundtrack. <laughs> And then what else? Do you, did you bring the cards with you? I did bring the cards. I don't want to show all of them, but if you do get the limited edition, you have many bromide cards. These are small collectible things that are actually inside the game, and we've decided to add them into our edition. All right, very cool. So that's the uh, what's the breakdown price-wise, the special edition versus the, uh, the standard edition? Well, the special edition is going for a bargain $39.99, and the regular edition is $29.99. All right. Haley, what else you got for us? Uh, Bahamut Mega wants to know, is combat done in TBS style in the game? TBS style? Turn-based, yes. It is turn-based, and you can direct all your party members if you like, but you can also use a new, it's not really a new edition, but it's been kind of upgraded a little. It's the party AI. If you don't feel like having everybody on their own turn spell here, healing there, you can actually just use this command and they will auto-attack. All right. For guys like me who don't have a lot of time, you know, a <laughs> little auto attacking. Haley, what else you got? Uh, Sergeant Silent wants to know what makes Lunar stand out from other RPG games. Uh, Lunar is harkens from an age where classic RPGs were really built on story. I mean, the graphics have been upgraded in this one, but anyone who's played the original is familiar with just this amazing world. Everything about it. I mean, talk to the NPCs, and it's they say the most hilarious things. This is a game with real history to it. All it right. stands out, I think, today. Now, speaking of that, um, are there any uh, performers that are sort of returning or involved in the uh, the new the new um, the new game here? We actually have an all new voice cast, but a lot of older fans will recognize the opening song and the boat song in the game are sung by the original singer. We thought we'd bring her back, and it just sounds awesome. Yeah, I like when I was uh, prepping the trailer. I like the music a lot and like the the animation. Looking forward to it. Um, Haley, what else you got? Give me some more questions. Uh, Psycho wants to know: Were you a big fan of the original remaster on the PS One? Uh, I'm sorry to say, I didn't actually get to play that game when I was a kid. I was more into Sweet It Ends. I I never heard about it. <laughs> is, is booing our our guest? Our, our that's the guy in the chat room. Who just asked that question sitting right there he's booing you hey i love it as much as other fans i had to go through this whole thing and make it good Haley, let's uh let's go through a few more there okay I, uh church 425t wants to know is the game um will be available for the psp go and if so will there be a special edition for that we get we get tricky now we got this psp mm. that everybody bought <laughs> And then you got the Go that some people have. <laughs> what are you, what, what are the options with Lunar? The PSP Go is kind of tricky. We do have a version that's going to be available for download on the PSN, but I'm afraid there isn't a limited edition you can get with that. Um, some fans, though, I have heard on the Facebook that some fans are actually going to buy the limited edition and then also download it for their PSP Go. So they're going to keep one as a collector's item and then just play the other one. Yeah, that, that happens a lot. You get the soundtrack, you get the, you get mm-hmm. the cards, mm-hmm. and, uh, and there's also a demo available on the PSN network, right? Definitely. There's a demo. Go ahead, check it out, try it, and if you like it, I hope you buy the game. Very cool. Haley, we've got time for a couple more questions. How are things going? You got some more for Jessica. Yeah, Ninja Arashi uh, has kind of a funny question. Wants to know, um, who would win in a battle between Link and Alex? Ooh. So we've got the, the famed Link mm. from the Zelda series, and then Alex from the Lunar series. Which version of Link are we talking about here? Do we <laughs> oh, got the, that's do we got the kid question. version? Do we got the chibi version? Is yeah. it going to be the older guy? Oh. Haley, does he have a boomerang, a sword, um, a bow and arrow? <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting a response from Ninja Arashi. I will get back to you on that. It's, I don't it's know. It's not often our guest oh, throws a go. question back mm-hmm. to the chat room. <laughs> it's a challenge. Um, it looks like, oh, he says... Oh, Serena battle? I think that's the, the like Ocarina. 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 Of time. Battle. Ooh, a battle of ocarinas. So, so you can go up. Well, there is. Uh, does the does Alex have sort of a musical uh, instrument he uses at all? Or because that's that's the ocarina, right? And he uses that. He's a master at the ocarina. I I'm gonna have to side with Alex here. He's a master of the ocarina, and he's got a dragon master sword. Ooh, wow. All right. Link that, has that a princess. He's got a goddess. Haley, we're going to have to be on Team Alex then. Okay, that sounds like a plan. <laughs> All right, Haley, we've got time for a couple more. Okay, um, Aaron Knights wants to know, 
Are there any plans to bring the series to a home console? So that's what's going to happen. You're going to get popular with the the PSP game. Now everybody's going to want this on their Xbox or PS3. Any talks of that from uh, XSeed or anybody? Um, I hope so. I we are actually going to be posing questions like these in a Q and A to Dabashi San, who is the director of Lunar. And perhaps if there's enough positive response, we can hope for another version. All right. Let me get the sign. We can hope for another version. Say it one more time. We can hope for another version. <laughs> Come on, Lunar! Jess, I paid a lot for that sign. I got to use it, you know, when, when I can. <laughs> this, is, this is power. I want one of these. <laughs> you want one of these? We'll, we'll get that off. Haley, give me one more, and then we're going to have to wrap things all up. All right, all right. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Have there been any talks about turning Lunar into a cartoon or an anime series? It sort of has that feel already that it's kind of the cutscenes that you guys added in. Any, any talk of maybe doing sort of an animated? I personally would love to see an animation of this. In fact, I will take that question and I will add it to our QA for Debashi san All right. Oh, nice. Good question, Sergeant Silent. Good job. Good job, Sergeant Silent. Okay, great. What is the, uh, give us the website, how do people, the date, the street date, uh, anything else we sort of maybe missed along the way here? Okay, uh, Lunar Silver Star Harmony is the website. You can go there or our Facebook, which is really active right now. Uh, the release date is March 2nd for the limited edition and the regular version. And the PSN is going to be on March 4th. And definitely when you're on the ship going to Merbia, buy soap. Lots of soap. Yeah. All right. <laughs> a little in, in, Haley, I don't think we've gotten like in-game tips before. That's, that's no, like, a, that's like you're setting that's the 2010 first. standard. Awesome. Very important. <laughs> so cool. We're going to wrap things up, Haley. Uh, everything going okay on your side? You having a good time over there? You ready for some, some lunar soundtrack on the way home tonight? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Plus, I, I like that they have the original singer. That's awesome. She's, yeah, she's amazing. Yeah, I, I really, I'm looking forward to checking out the score and, uh, and, and also practicing some of my baseball pitching for the perfect thing and winning a t-shirt and stuff. This has been like a bonus round side of a giveaway type of show tonight. I'm going for the million dollars. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what we're going for. I'm taking that game with me. Did you know what a perfect game was? Yeah. Okay. Because he told me. Oh, he is. <laughs> All right, we're going to wrap it up, guys. I uh, want to thank uh, Brian, Haley, Jared, Chloe, everybody involved. We want to thank our studio audience. Woo! Guys. We've been collecting stragglers from like the Rad Nerd Show audiences coming on Thursday nights, you know, for for freebies. But uh, guys, when we're here, we love you. Thanks so much for tuning in. When we're not, we miss the heck out of you. It's Coin Up TV live on the Stream TV. We'll see you guys next time. Yeah.